Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm bringing you another stitching tutorial inspired by the stitchings of Ted Potter. This time, we're going to do an interesting stitch on a shark jawbone paracord bracelet. This one is done in three passes, which makes it quite intricate and a nice challenge to do on a rainy day. With that said, let's take a look at the supplies, then get to stitching. As far as supplies go, the first thing that you're going to need is some microcord. For a regular sized bracelet, which has about a 6 inch weave, you're going to need about 4 feet of microcord. As far as the bracelet goes, you're going to need a pretty tight shark jawbone paracord bracelet. You're also going to need a lacing needle something to cut the cords with, as well as a lighter. With these few supplies ready, we can begin. To start stitching, I have attached a lacing needle onto my microcord. Now we need to attach our microcord onto our bracelet. What I usually do is I tuck my microcord on the underside and then I come up. And that is one way that you can use in order to start this bracelet. The other is to make an overhand knot on the other side. So here, we're just going to make an overhand knot. And then feed your micro cord through the top. We're going to start on the first section here that travels diagonally. And what we're going to do is we're going to go on the bottom of it, like this. Then we're going to travel through the other section that goes diagonally towards the other side. So like this. If your shark jawbone bracelet had this section on the other side, then you would start on the other side. It doesn't really matter. Now what we're going to do is travel one down and again follow this section that goes diagonally towards the other side. So we're going to follow it on the bottom here and then go into the other section that goes diagonally on the other side. So what you should end up with is this. And again what we do is go on this bottom side here and through like this. And again here. And here. And we're going to continue this sequence until we reach the bottom. At the bottom we're going to turn around 
and we're going to aim to fill out the diagonal sections just under the ones that we did earlier. So just under this one, this one, this one, this one. So we're going to start with the first one here and we're going to go on the bottom side of it. Then we're going to come over our previous pass and go through like this. And then to the other side. And then on the other side, we are going to enter one above, again going over the previous pass, through and to the other side. It's that simple. So like this, and then on the other side, we again enter going over the previous pass, through and to the other side. And you can see that what we did is cover the sections under the previous pass. And we're going to continue the same way until we reach the top. We always travel over the previous pass, so this one is quite easy. Like this. We're now going to start the third pass. The third pass is the final one and it is going to lock everything in place. What we do first is at the top we find the first section that doesn't have this bottom part here already covered with a pass. So this is the one that I'm going to start with. I'm going to look at how my cords are traveling here when they cross and I can see that the cord that's going from right to left is going under. So I'm also going to start with an under here. Like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel through the section on the other side, just like we did before, and then go over the pass on the other side. So I went under on the right and over on the left. Like this. Then, again, we're going to travel on this side, which lacks a pass, and again, we can see that the cord that's going from left to right is going under and then over on the right. So we're going to start under. Like this. Then go through the section on the right side. And over on the right.
And once you get used to it, it's fairly simple. So we travel one down. We start with an under. Then go through the section on the left and over our pass. Like this. And again. Here we start with an under. Then go over the section on the right. Then we go under the section on the right. And over the pass. And you can see that everything lines up very nicely here at the top. Everything is locked into place and it has an over one, under one sequence. So let's continue until the end of the bracelet. So again we start with an under. Through the section and over the pass. Once you reach the other side, you can finish any way that you like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply tuck my micro cord under a few sections at the bottom. Then simply trim it off. Melt it and you are done. Guys, I hope that this stitching style wasn't too hard. I really enjoy the look and I think it is great practice for any stitching you will do in the future. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.